do? Nasty. So they're using the study of genetics, and uh, Josh Philly Melling Nasty was introduced in the field of genetic experiments by Thomas Hunt Morgan in 1909. Its importance for human health was recognized by the award of the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology to Ed Lewis, Christian Nusli and Bullhard, and Eric Whitehouse in 1995. Why do we use Philly Prize, you may ask? Well, that's a good question. Well, they have a short lifespan about two weeks. They're really cheap to study, they make quickly, they're easy to keep in large numbers, and their entire genome is known. What's a genome? Genome is the Drosophilia genome has four chromosomes. The XY and the second, third, and fourth chromosomes. There's 165 million bases. Wow. With 14,000 genes. The human genome has only 3,400 million bases and about 22,500 20, genes. Yeast has about 5,800 genes in 13.5 million base, bases. So why do we do this lab? To study genetics in Drosophilia Mellignaster. <laughs> do you have a better answer than that? No. Josh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Are you making that blue stuff? What's the blue stuff? Uh, the food that goes in the bottom oh, of the yeah. tube. Yeah, yeah, is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. It's got this junk in it. Would that be easier if you had a friend helping you? Oh, yeah. Probably. Oh. Anne Marie, I bet, wants to take the camera. Or go put water in there. I bet she'd love to help me. But Anne Marie's going to put water in there for you, Josh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that pull. Just pour it in. So how do you make this stuff? Uh, you put this white crap in there. And you put water in. And it makes how much of the white crap? That much. Okay, and how much water? The okay. same amount. Cool. A little capful? Yeah, just like that. Okay, and then what do you have to do? Then you toss some yeast in there and call it a day. How much yeast? Oh, a pinch. A pinch? But then again, it's a weird pinch because like... six to seven pieces. Oh, I didn't want to talk anyway. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how much. Six to seven? Yes. What happens if you put too much in there? Eh, they'll die. We won't have sex. I mean, they'll die. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to die if you put too much yeast in there? Yeah, do you know why they do that? It takes away all their oxygen and they die. Oh, that's not good. They like oxygen. Okay. Come on. Hey, Shiley, what are you doing? I am going to put these flies to sleep, Josh. Oh, really? Yes. So, uh, how do you do that? Well, first you have to try and get them to go to the bottom of the tube. Oh. And there's flies in there? Yes, see? Ew. Flies, yes. Yay. Aren't they gross? Yes. So after you get them to the bottom, you slide this little sponge thing, the wand, into the what tube. What is a wand? Oh, that's yes, a wand. that's a wand. What's that brown stuff on the wand? That is fly nap. What does that do? It puts the flies to sleep. Oh, how long does that take? Oh, a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, so now that these flies are sleeping in junk, what do you do now? Now we have to separate them from males and females. How do you do that? Well, you take them out of the tube, like this, and then you use your wand to get them out. Oh, that doesn't look like a wand. What is it really? It's a paintbrush. It's a paintbrush. Oh, alright. So, all those little brown dots and are flies? Yes, they are. What's the blue crap? That is their stuff. food. Oh, yummy. And you have to separate them. And <laughs> the males have a rounder 
abdomen and the females are pointed. Oh, what makes that happen? I don't know. Okay. That, that's probably good enough. The male has a rounder and darker abdomen than the female. Like this one. This is a female and she has a pointed abdomen and she is lighter than the male is. Flies in a freaking container. So, did you separate them? Well, duh. You just told me to. <laughs> okay, Josh. And how do you put them in there? Uh, you kind of toss them in. And leave it sideways or else they'll drown in the blue stuff that looks like a solid. So I'm going to see how they're drowning, but see, that's bad. Okay. That's good. That's good? Okay. This is even better. No, okay, uh, yeah. Nope. Upside down is good too if we can get it to work that way, right? Yes. What's Anne Marie doing? I am sexing flies and using a magnifying glass to tell the difference between the males and the females so that we can separate them. Is there a reason you don't use the microscope? Um, it's a lot easier to use the magnifying glass. Trial and error. Teach you that. Yeah. So what are all these tubes for? Um. Flies. Noob. These tubes here are all the ones where we mated them and did crosses between different flies. And these tubes doesn't look like there's anything alive in here. Dolphins. Well, Dolphins. most of them died, but we tried. So these ones are just the separated ones? Yeah. Oh, there's some living ones in there. We separated them um, between, like, color and, like, the type of their wings and different characteristics. Okay. Is that all you got, Jory? What do you want? What pose? What Any, do you want? All of them at the same time. Try this one. Ooh, Josh, he likes.